welcome back to our channel. It's been a while again. Literally, last video we made was what was it? End of last year, beginning of this year. The Kobe. 2J one. Oh, okay. Corey, right? I think so. Um, so we're back again, and the reason being what we haven't filmed was probably because I was pregnant and Sam got busy. So I'm nine months pregnant. Can you see? That's the bump. It's insane. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Oh, I think a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I just answered one of the questions, I think. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's one of the questions. We're doing like a little pregnancy Q&A, pregnancy experience thing. Um, yeah. Right, let's just get into it. We'll so right first question. It. How far are you in your pregnancy or how many, um, what's your <laughs> How many months to go for your pregnancy? I'm in my ninth month. So I'm nine, month, nine months pregnant in weeks. I'm, I think, 37 weeks pregnant now. So I have 40 weeks in total. I've got a few weeks left, three weeks left. They can come any time now. Um, any cravings? I didn't have that many. I had more food aversions than I did cravings, which is basically yeah, me not wanting to eat certain foods and me like going away from things that I used to like. Um, so in the beginning, like first trimester, I think eggs, I hated. I hated eggs. I couldn't eat eggs. I couldn't eat chicken. I couldn't really smell meat that much. I went off like a lot of different foods. I didn't have a lot of an appetite um, at all in the first trimester. I had a little bit of morning sickness, but it wasn't that bad. It was kind of like anytime I ate or felt triggered, I threw up and that was it. Um, and then I felt good the rest of the day. It wasn't like a nauseous feeling all day, every day. Uh, I have more of that now actually. On my third trimester, I feel nauseous almost every day and I'm always out of breath. More nauseous than you did in the beginning. In the beginning, yeah, actually really weird. So my pregnancy, I feel like from everything that I've heard and everything I've experienced was quite opposite. Um, but yeah, cravings though, I did crave on my first trimester chicken feet, which was really, really weird. Um, I think I like, you don't mind chicken feet. Uh, no, I don't eat them. I only had the little knuckles, but that was it. It's not <laughs> bad. So I used to, I don't have anything against chicken feet. Um, I used to like it. I'm not that much. I could only eat like one or two. Um, when we were having like the Chinese food, we just like, I don't know, my mom ordered it and I would have one. But since I was pregnant, I would tell my mom to make chicken feet. I needed the spice. I was craving chili like you won't believe. And then chicken feet. I don't know. I don't know why I crave chicken feet, but I did for like a bit. And then now, now I'm not really. I don't really eat chicken feet that much anymore. But yeah, now it's more chocolate. I eat chocolate. <laughs> so That's <much>. you. <laughs> but like this is insane. Yeah. Uh, any body changes? Other than the oh, big yeah, belly, the belly. <laughs> and the big boobs. Um, body changes. Did you lose your bum? Did you get it back? Oh, um. <laughs> I mean, you said all out, so I remember all that, so. I'm swollen. I feel like my face, I've got like, I'm not swollen on my ankles or anything, and it's winter right now, so I feel like I'm not gonna swell oh, yeah. as much as if it was summer. I the feet thing. Yeah. So. I guess my feet are okay so far right now, I don't know. But my fingers got a little bit swollen, and I only noticed it because we were trying on rings. We were getting like rings. We wanted to get rings, um, and she were usually were usually the same size and I tried it on I couldn't fit it and it was just really tight and I was like oh my gosh are my fingers swollen but yeah I don't know so that and then my face I feel like even when I'm talking I feel like it's really swollen I, I just feel like, like my lips and everything I just feel like it's just swollen I just do um my boobs the nipples craziest change I think that I didn't expect is the darkness of my nipples and how dark they became. This is too much information, I think, but you know. Um, <laughs> so my nipples got really big, the areola got really big and really, really dark. And yeah, it ups it, it, it just, it didn't upset me. Shocked. It, it shocked me, it gave me, I was, I was shocked. Give me a fright. <laughs> <laughs> I got shocked. Uh, next one. Things no one told you about, about the pregnancy. 
Yeah, this probably the nipples. I mean, I heard that you get darker nipples and stuff. But with like a boy. And like your your down there gets a little bit dark. And my down there has gotten quite <laughs> dark. Um, <laughs> everything. I mean, but like apparently, I only heard this when I was pregnant. So my mom was like, "Oh, if you're having a boy, expect like darkness in the skin." I don't know if that's a thing. Like you, a lot of women, and I'm half Asian. So it's like maybe, I don't know if it's more of an Asian thing or I, I don't know. But my mom was like, yeah, you get like really, cause her friends that had sons, she, my own mom only had daughters. She's got four girls. So then having a son is like new to her, but she's always heard and she saw it that like women get like dark on the armpits and dark on around the neck and like the, the thighs and the knees and the legs and stuff like that. It literally looks like someone's taken. Taken? Taken black stickers. Oh, <laughs> for like dark, 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 dark brown stickers. Perfectly circled as well and just pasted it on my boobs like that's what it looks like, but yeah What else? What, what was it? The question? Um, things no one told you about. Yeah, that Yeah, um, any weight gain or weight loss? Yes, obviously weight gain because I lost weight in the beginning um, But then I gained now. I think I've, I've gained 10 kilos in total Oh my gosh, yeah, I feel like I look so swollen. Are you 60 now? No, I was 48 before pregnancy, 47, 48, now I'm 58 it looks a little bit. Swollen. I'm telling you. There's like the pussy. I just noticed. I'm telling you. I'm feeling like I'm so swollen. I feel so swollen. I'm looking at my like my jaw. I feel like that, like in Singapore when I was swollen mm, jaw. This bit. is what it feels like. I I can tell. I notice everything. The cheeks have come about a little bit. But I'm, I'm sure it will go away. Mine are just oh, it will go away. I mean, this is the swelling will go away. But it feels like I just got lip injections. In there. Yeah, it's that's why I was like, did you? <laughs> especially the soft, especially when you talk about the sausage and not the hong. <laughs> it's a little bit. Um, weight gain? Yes, you yeah. did gain 10 kilos. So um, far. Birth plan? Um, are you nervous to birth? Birth plan? I don't have a birth plan. Um, <laughs> Ryan and I just kind of want to go with the flow. I mean, he's not. He's not. Yeah, it's a few. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I don't. I'm just going. I'm very go with the flow. I don't really have a strict birth plan because I feel like with with something so like you know something as extreme and as intense as birth is just so unpredictable and I don't want to be disappointed so I'm just kind of like you know whatever happens happens I'm open for a c-section if I need one uh, but I'll try go as natural as I can I'll try go without an epidural but you know if I can't stand the pain then give me it there's no like I just don't it's, I'm not bothered you know what I mean Scary, am I nervous to give birth I'm a little bit Hell excited yeah. oh what I'm I nervous for you, but I'm most excited as well. I'm excited because Pop I want up. to feel how intense mm. these contractions are. Like everyone's talking about, you're never, like I've heard people say, you know, you're not, you can't describe the pain to anyone. It's just for you to find out for yourself. Like it's, I don't know how, I don't know if I explained that even right. I got my baby brain is insane. My baby brain. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. They People were saying like, you know, it's so, so, so bad. It's the most intense thing you'll ever feel. And I can imagine that you're pushing a baby, you know, yeah, out of something um, so small. But like, oh, yeah. I, oh, I want to feel that. I don't know. I want to see how bad it is. I want to experience it. I want to see how bad it can get and how much I can take. Because I'm quite, I feel like I have quite a high pain tolerance. Um, but then, but then we'll see. Again, I, I don't know. I can't compare this to anything. Um, what about names? Have you, do you have any, I know you have options. So I'm having a boy. If you guys don't know, the gender's a boy who found out ASAP. I didn't really want to not find out. I don't know, it's just, if I could find out, why not? Just so I could plan everything and buy its clothes, it, his it clothes. <laughs> um, think of names and stuff, because names are so hard. We have a couple options. It's not secret, we just don't know what we want yet. Um, and we'll see when he comes out. Well, I think I'll just, him. yeah, I think I just have to see his face and see what name comes, because none of them are really <laughs> ringing my, what do you call it? My yes, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing's really sparking my interest for names. Like I don't feel like there's one that I really really like But they're they're all pretty good. So we'll see uh, It was a planned pregnancy or no? It was it was planned, but it wasn't planned like we weren't trying to get pregnant But we weren't not trying and it was like a natural pregnancy. So obviously there was no IVF or anything It kind of happened very naturally it happened a lot quicker than we expected it to so it was yes no. we always wanted kids it, we wanted kids and we were talking about it. We got on like private health and everything like a year before so we were we were planning to have kids 
Um, and then we obviously were off the pill, but it was, I don't know, we weren't trying to have one, but we were not trying. That answers the question. Morning sickness, I think you've answered this one. Yeah, I answered it. I only had morning sickness for a little bit in the beginning and worn out. And it wasn't bad, I quite, I, I was fine with it. And then now it's like just nauseous all the time, but I'm not throwing up, but I feel worse. I'd rather throw can up. You, okay. hmm? um, any kicks and movements, <clears throat> obviously, but can you explain how it feels? Yeah, so I... Freaky looking at it, by the way. <laughs> it's and feeling it. pretty insane, honestly. If you have a pregnant friend, I think you'll know. Or you've had like someone, or you've been pregnant, you'll know how like crazy that feeling is. It's so alien. Um, he was kicking, he's quite an active baby. He was kicking since, I think, in, in like the 20 weeks, even 18, maybe I felt like flutters. So like I, I could feel him moving a lot. Uh, lots more intense now. I can feel like the changes in the movement, which is really interesting. So he used to like, other than the fluttering, couldn't really tell what was what, but like when he got bigger, I could tell what was like punches and what was like rolls and stuff like that, obviously, because I hated the rolls. I think he's looking at me. Wow, wow. I think he's looking for me. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Hi, Pepper. Yeah, it kicks in the well, well, What um, is his mouth? Who's haircut? What was I saying? Um, kick oh yeah, so like I hate when he rolls. I don't like the rolling movement. I don't know how to explain it. It kind of feels like a slither. Like a snake was put not in my belly, but like beneath the skin, still like above the muscle and it just moves. And then so your skin, like it's really, really weird. <laughs> Hard to explain and really like, it makes me feel really like, oh, oh you know, like it sends shivers down my spine. Uh, but I love his stretches. So now I'm noticing how, how? since I was 30 weeks pregnant or something, 36, oh, I don't know, I don't know anything. But he, his, so he's head down now and his body's on the left and his legs are on the right. Head down. Yeah, his head is down. But how he stretches is he gets his little legs and he pushes his legs against this side and then his body comes out. So if you feel it, you can feel it both on like the, the ends of the stomach. Like this is like a little cone feeling because it's his legs, so it's sharp. And then this one's like, you can feel like it's more of a body. Um, so it's him stretching in the room and I can tell and it's that's really cute and actually is relieving because it feels like he's obviously making room in there for him to stretch and I feel like that kind of gives me like a, I don't know, I don't know, it makes me feel like I can breathe for a little bit and it's quite like relaxing, I don't know why. It's weird, it's really weird and it's a little bit intense but it's like relaxing. Um, but yeah, and then he kicks still and has hiccups a lot. Hiccups? But yeah. Oh, I they're just like, like little, a... yeah, they're like little rhythmic. Um, hair, skin, nails, growth. Was there any growth? Oh, or... um, the pregnant glow <laughs> no so i was expecting my hair to be really 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 nice i used to have really really nice hair in high school like it just it just looked amazing i mean i like my hair now I, i've always had nice long hair luckily but i feel like it's i mean it's thinned out since high school it's gotten worse since high school um but since pregnancy there's not, mu not much of a difference i mean like i feel like when i lift my hair up and the like it's not as bald here like i used to have very thin hair here like especially when i tied my hair in like a braid or something like that like you'd see a lot more skin there and it's kind of thickened out with literally in the past week or so i've noticed that um both but sides. thickness everything yeah both sides this one was more bald than this one but both sides were quite thin and then they're getting like thick now but everything else is quite the same it's not necessarily more shiny or anything like that. It's, it's pretty much the same. My nails got worse. So my nails break, I have to wear like, sh like they grow really fast and I have naturally really nice strong nails. So why aren't they growing those virgin nails anymore? I don't know what's happened. I think pregnancies just made them like break so easy. Like they grow quick and still like long really quick, but they just break. Like they would just snap. Uh, which never used to be a problem of mine, so I have to use shellac now to keep him strong. She would attack us with her nails. <laughs> no, you too. I still have a scar on my chest from when you scratched me. <laughs> but yeah, so nails got worse, definitely. Hair kind of, the hair on my head stayed the same. My eyebrow hair got worse. I feel like it got thin. Like, the eyebrows. yeah, the eyebrows got thin. They're not as like nice as they used to be. My eyelashes definitely are so shit right now. Did you <laughs> grow any happened. hair anywhere? My belly. A little snail trail. All over. My belly's like a little bit hairy now. Like it's always, I've always had like little peach fuzz, but it's like darker. I just notice it more. I think maybe because, I don't know. It's just like protruding. <laughs> um, everything else, I don't know. So overall, what would you, 
how was your pregnancy experience overall? Um, off the cards. <laughs> I wasn't as emotional as I thought I would be. I think what was really interesting was seeing my partner. So he he had like what, phantom pregnancy, which is like the what is sym sympathetic pregnancy. So he, because I was pregnant, I think the hormones kind of brushed off onto him and he was very like emotional. He was more emotional than me throughout the whole thing. I don't know. And I was just kind of like, there were literally times where I was like, am I pregnant or are you? Like he'll be really like emotional and moody and want attention and want cuddles and want me to like massage his head and give him facials. And I'm like, no, I don't know. And so I, I don't know. I feel like I pamper him and I'm just kind of like, hello. I'm like, like literally, I don't know. But um, I found that really interesting. Generally speaking, I was I feel like it was pretty it was pretty chill. The hardest the hardest time is for me personally was is the third trimester when everything's supposed to be better and like calmer. I feel like it's worse now. Like I feel so nauseous all the time. And like I don't really have that much of an appetite, and then all of a sudden I have a massive appetite and then I have like migraines, like I get really bad migraines now. Um, there's like a sharp punch punching nervy pain in my lower back and all that stuff. I guess it's because the baby's getting bigger and coming, but my goodness, it's not very comfortable to sleep in as well. I feel it's very nervy around my belly and just uncomfortable to sleep. So I, I would definitely say the third trimester is the worst for me. But yeah, and I'm so out of breath. Belly's getting bigger. I started to pop only, I would, oh, that's another one I could say. So I only started showing, what was it, like five months? Five months in? Only recently I though. I feel like. Yeah. So, five months I had like a little bump, but what he does, what I've noticed is he grows like in spurts. Like he has little growth spurts, and it would be like my, my belly just literally in like a couple days, it would go from a certain little bump to like a proper bump. Like it would just keep going like that, and then it would stop. Wouldn't grow. It's not like a steady pace that he's growing at, it's quite like drastic i don't know she's really stretchy this one so i used to yeah so i didn't expect to have stretch marks i mean sam literally before we shot this she was like what is what's that purple thing but it was also the lighting so. and i was like oh my god i think it like i thought it was like veins because i'm quite like veiny like you can see my veins now um but yeah there's like a little bit like a very little bit of stretch marks coming in so i'm like oh shit, okay um which i didn't expect because i'm a very stretchy like my skin has always been very stretchy you remember before i was pregnant i could like pull the skin under my um chest or like my ribs like i could literally pull it out and it would be so like elastic um, <laughs> but yeah so i didn't expect that but it's coming now um people say you know stretch marks are genetic i don't I don't know what I feel about that because my mm. mom didn't have any stretch marks then and I'm obviously now getting them. Mm. I don't know, but hopefully I get a birth similar to my mom's birthing experiences with us. But yeah, we shall see and I'll make more videos when the baby is here. This is probably the only video I'll make being pregnant since I've only got a couple weeks left. I'm nervous a little bit thinking about it when I think too much about it. I get a little bit nervous, obviously anyone would, but I'm also excited. And I want him out because I'm tired of being pregnant now. <laughs> you just want to see a little bugger. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, some of you have experienced the same things I have, which is crazy. I never knew about pregnancy like I did. I didn't know the feelings and all that. And it's, it's, it's really, exciting. really interesting. It is super interesting. It is something that's really amazing, you know. Yeah. And then when Kim's pregnant or when I'm in the future, we'll, we can see yeah. if you have different pregnancies. Oh, it will be. Everyone's pregnancy is different. Even when I have another baby, it's going to be different again. But yeah, yeah. nerve-wracking. He's been great, though. This pregnancy's been great. My baby's been really oh good. Um, a little bit heavier now. <laughs> vision has gotten so much worse also, guys. My vision, like my eyesight is so shit. Like, it's unbelievable. I cannot see anything. I'm blind as a bat. Um, but there was another thing I wanted to say. And my baby brain. My brain is like mm -hmm. dumb. Like I'm so, Pregnancy I feel brain. so dumb <laughs> all the time. Anyways, I think that's it. It's a little short, I don't know how long it's gonna be. It's a little question, Q and A, question and answers about my pregnancy. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, we'll probably have the baby in the next video. Yeah. Um, we'll see, that'll be soon. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and let us know what kind of videos you want us to make next.
but yes. <laughs> funny sound. But I uh, know. Um, but yeah. All right. See you guys later. I don't know what I usually do. I don't know. Oh my gosh! I feel so swollen when I slap. It looks horrible. I, I feel didn't like. See that. I mean, I feel like I'm like so Now you're just like trying to keep it together. <laughs> I'm not. It's so bad. It's okay. You know, I feel so swollen when I laugh. I literally can see it and I can't see properly, so I just look like a swollen. Well, after you give birth, we do rewatch this and then I'll be like, hmm. I do see we'll it differently. Yeah. I hope.